tonight. We are very excited. And uh, uh, we were speaking about you coming in Italy. And uh, we hope you will come soon. Uh, you know why? Because we have a lot of books to sign. So we have to anyway. <laughs> sure, I'll a pen. Okay, two pens. Okay. Io uh, non ho intenzione di presentarvi molto a Lanna perché ho chiesto a lei di farlo, ho chiesto a lei di presentare se stessa, eh, perché ha scritto questo libro, ehm, da dove nasce questa cosa, perché un conto è leggerlo, eh, la sua storia, è un conto sentirlo dalle sue parole. Um, thank you very much for having me everyone. It's lovely to be here, it's great to talk to you. Um, I'm really excited about um, working with NAMI because I think it's uh, uh, so important at the moment that these kinds of books are getting out there and people understand the science behind them um, most of all. So thank you everyone who bought my book. I suspect some of you know a bit about my story already since I start the book with it. Um, so I'm an evolutionary biologist by training and I used to work mostly with bats in, and mostly in the tropics. So I encountered quite a lot of um, nasty insects and tropical diseases along the way. And that's how I got into microbes because one evening I was bitten by a large number of ticks and I became ill. So I ended up being diagnosed with um, a, a tick-borne illness and was given huge numbers of antibiotics to try and fix that. Uh, after the antibiotics, I did feel better, but I started to have new problems, new health problems. And I suspected that I had damaged my, as, as all I knew about them at the time were that they were good bacteria living in my gut. And uh, I went to my doctor and he just said, no, that's not a thing. That's not something that people need to worry about. And I was really disappointed and confused because I couldn't see how they couldn't be important. Um, as an evolutionary biologist, I recognized that if they were there, they were probably helpful. So I started to do lots of research and uh, realized that there was a huge new area of science opening up and I decided to write a book on it. Story, and that's how I got to, um, got to this point. Um, shall I start with the questions? A great starting question, um, very general, um, and I'm sure lots of you have a good understanding of it already. Um, we know now that the microbes living in our gut are associated with a huge number of diseases that, and illnesses that ha affect people these days. And we also know some reasons why we might have damaged them. Um, and we're increasingly learning about ways that we can fix them. So it's important for your brain, for your, for your gut itself, and particularly for your immune system, which is kind of fundamental to everything that we'll be talking about. It's a very much more complex topic than, than most people think. Um, most people think that your weight is just about what you eat and how much you exercise, but that is certainly not the case. It's extremely complex. Uh, the first thing that we need to understand is that it's your body that determines how much fat you carry. It's not how much you eat and it's not how much you exercise. It's about what's happening in your body. And that controls what our appetites are like, what we feel like eating, and how much exercise we want to do, not the other way around. So the next thing to understand is that we, we all extract a very different number of calories and um, amount of nutrition from what we eat. So somebody who is lean might be extracting only, let's say for example, 50 calories from um, a portion of food. 
Whereas somebody who's overweight might be extracting, let's say, 100 calories or even 150 calories from that same food. And that's not about, that's nothing to do with our personalities or anything like that. It's just how our bodies are extracting those nutrients from food. And that comes down to our microbes and our immune systems. So the, the major cause of obesity is, is actually inflammation, which is your immune system overreacting. And your immune system might overreact because of the microbes you have in your gut. So when you have inflammation, that means that it can change how your fat cells use energy and how they store energy so they might be telling your your body to store more energy than it really needs in storage so we don't know exactly which bacteria um cause this inflammation and what bacteria we could put into our guts to help to calm it down um, and so although we like to think that probiotics can be helpful it's really difficult to say. Um, there, there is one bacterium in particular which we know is associated with gaining weight, and that's called Acomantia mucinophila. Okay, so um, Acomantia lives in the mucus layer of your gut and it eats the mucus. That mucus protects your gut lining from all the things that are inside your gut to prevent them from going into your blood. Um, if they're not supposed to go into your blood. And um, Acomantia eats that, but it also produces compounds, chemicals that um, help the gut lining to stay healthy, help the human cells to stay healthy, and also help them to produce more mucus. Um, and in doing that, it prevents these unwanted chemicals from getting into the blood and causing inflammation. The good news is, that although, so somebody actually asked, um, can we add Acomantia to the probiotic mix of NAMI? And um, the bad news is no, you can't. Um, that's because Acomantia is very difficult to cultivate um, and it hasn't been proven to be safe yet. Um, and it has various patents. The good um, news is that there are two things that you can do to increase the amount of Acomantia in your gut and one of them is by taking a uh, bifidobacterium animalis another bacterial species which is in NAMI so that appears to encourage Acomantia <laughs> um, and the other thing is what you eat can massively improve wow. how, how much you have how much Acomantia you have. Uh, this is just really uh... Wonderful news. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd like that bit. <laughs> <laughs>